slowly. So, we officially are in range then to, so, we'll start dropping nukes. First nuclear bomb in there. And Mombasa has been dead. And it forced them to capitulate too. The German government in exile has capitulated. Leon. Drew Hawks has announced that the cowardly German nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of communard forces throughout the country. The German government chose to flee the country or, and has gone to exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the commune of France now is in control of most of their home area. Though the war continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for the commune of France. It's not like that it was me who dropped the nuke or anything. Oh. Of course, France has to get all the gold. France has the ones that the opposing victors or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just having a little bit of fun. And we'll have them take care of them and get them to tell them to. But, yeah, the reason that that happened, though, was because I actually have a mod called Realistic Nukes. And it basically makes nukes a little more realistic, where uh, nuclear bombs, like two or three, and it forces them to capitulate and surrender. But anyways, atomic bombing of Mombasa. For the first and hopefully last time in history, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Mombasa as a part of international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which is feared not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implement. Excuse me. Implications it has for the one who deploys it and humanity itself. The world holds its uh, breath waiting for what will come. Well, this forced the coming of France, or I guess it really should be, the, the German government to mix out to surrender to avoid further terror, or will it strengthen their resolve to strike back against uh, those who would resort to such measures? Has begun. That no class can free him one final step. Total victory. Of the working class is the task so. of the worker alone. So left two, three, so left two, three to the work that we must do. March on in the workers united front for you are a worker. Oh. Might just granted might be able to do a similar thing. Let's move our bombers closer in range. I was expecting it to take a lot more than one nuke to take care of uh, the Germans here. Well, now the question is what it's to become of uh, former Middle Africa. Oh, it would appear that they're just breaking off the individual territories in this region just as they did with the Republic of France here.
Sorry about that. <laughs> I dropped my mic. I'm there. Breaking off one by one all the... Bombers that are in range, so I'm just gonna invade Australia itself. The curve, so to speak. And keeps on slowing down because of the <laughs> there he is here. Looks a lot more like Africa now. Uganda, we have knuckles on our side. fight yet, so unfortunately we don't have air superiority. Actually, might be able to. So many fighters, but none of them are the ones that I'm looking for.
on our boys here. on Darwin then. And there's one. Alright, so yeah, this is the uh, effect that it gives them after one a nuke is dropped. It says, our home region was nuked once, and then it lowers the surrender limit. If we if we're getting nuked twice more, our nation will capitulate. Well, fortunately for them, I don't really have that many. The role of armor was neglected by the old America, and now we must make great strides. Very little time to update our forces. Darwin's been nuked. Sorry to anyone from Australia who happens to live in Darwin. Same thing with anyone who was watching from uh, Mombasa too. <sighs> but uh, yeah, our campaign moves. Hopefully, come on. I need you guys to take Darwin. There we go. That's what remains of their ports to. And so it's going to help to capture. Why does Mexico keep on sending agents to us? We're not even enemies at all. that are moving around right now that's actually slowing down my game.
can see they're still going. Spot. Oh, it's loud, those guys come. Key with the use of modern mass tanks comes victory as it finds breaks in the thrust. Forces have just been able to land right in the nick of time. It's close, too.
can't surrender yet, I see. And then too, since they were nuked twice, then the capitulation thing is even lower. We'll have our boys just take over Sydney. And hopefully that should be enough to force them to merge it. And quite frankly, I don't really want to have to use any more nukes if I don't have to. Ready to drop a new con. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, Canberry. No, I I like Australia, so I don't really want to have to drop any more nukes. And uh, just like those in Darwin and Mombasa, if there's anybody from Sydney that is watching this, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> that though. Final part of our campaign is done. Oh, mission from the Union of Brazil. Diplomatic mission has arrived from the Union of Brazil. All pulled to begin a new and fruitful relationship between the Brazilian government and our own. Our allies are always welcome. With that, of our victory. Of Australasia. After the hard campaign throughout the isolated islands of the Australasian Confederation, our armies have finally reached Canberra, and with it, the capitulation of Australasia must be decided. And, and how do we want to I'm pretty happy then because uh, we have succeeded in turning the world red essentially. Only a little pocket that's I have to surprise us. Okay. There. So last little bastions that's left then basically it's just that in East Asia here are the other small areas. Okay. So, after giving it some thought, I do think I am actually just going to call it good here. I did uh, fast forward a little bit too, actually, and I did just kind of do a little bit of uh, state transfer to just transfer the uh, territories a little bit just to make it kind of a little more accurate to really bring about world peace. But uh, one thing that you will all pretty much notice, though, is that the world revolution has indeed managed to encircle the globe. There are a few little pockets uh, remaining in like the Middle East and especially in China, which is under control of the Qing government. But essentially, <laughs> the Red Dream has been completed. The Kaiserreich is no more, the British monarchy is no more. It took a couple of nukes though to really end it. But, uh, yeah, the world now essentially belongs to the workers. So, 
And this officially concludes too my first official Let's Play as well. I know it's been a little while, but of course I still have a bunch of other Let's Plays too. I still have to work on my Darkest Hour Let's Play as Germany, my World in Conflict, the Let's Play of The Witcher 3, and of course I have a bunch of other Let's Plays too in the future. But I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, because I know I certainly did. And I look forward to doing this a little more with you guys as well in the future. So if you like these videos, be sure to give them a like, and please do subscribe to my channel as well. It definitely helps me out, and I'll be sure to really pump out more videos too. So the more people I get to watch these, the better they'll become. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Blue Badger, signing off for now. And I will see you guys next time.